Daisy, should we take him home with us? Yeah. Come on, Piggy, let's go home. And so Piggy and we will be all the way to our home. Hello and good morning everyone. Oh my gosh. Welcome to NASA. Look behind us right now. We have got multiple cruise ships. Yeah. We've got the Oasis of the Seas, the Symphony of the Seas, and a brand new celebrity cruise ship that yeah, we the are celebrity just... celebrity looks pretty sweet. We're already eyeing our next cruise over here. Who knows <laughs> yeah. what we're going to do next, you guys. We have arrived in NASA Bahamas. We are literally yes. in the Bahamas, my Bahama mama. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast out on the balcony this morning and that was awesome. Great way to start the day. Breakfast dropped off because you guys, we got to get started immediately today. Yes. First thing out of the gates, we are disembarking, getting off of our cruise ship and heading to our own little private charter to swim oh, with some piggies. Yes. Not your little toesies, the real piggies. <laughs> These ones aren't covered in mud. When at first I heard the people swim with pigs, I was like, that sounds disgusting. But if you think about it, they're water pigs, whatever yeah. that means. And so they're probably cleaner and don't smell like the farm pigs that we're used to. I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to try and beat this crowd because another 800,000 people are coming right now. There are four massive cruise ships at yeah, today Port today. We're gonna go find our tour guide. We're gonna go get to our boat. We're gonna get this day underway. Let's go. That's sick, dude. Atlanta's in the back, this is insane. We're gonna go buy our room. That's our room right there. That's where we're staying. That's kind of cool. We woke up this morning and this is our view right out the side here. Beautiful ocean, the Atlanta's that way. We got DJ Tyler on the radio out here. They just announced DJ Tyler is running the show today, doing all of the music for us. And I gotta tell you, he is nailing it. The music is off the hook. We are on our private charter right now, heading off to swim with the pigs on Pig Island. I have never been to Pig Island, Mindy, but I have been to the island in our kitchen. I feel like on Pig Island. <laughs> this is an absolute scene the entire family here the front bow of this boat oh, yeah. going by our oasis of the seas with the symphony of the seas butted up against us you got two royal caribbean ships like back to back they are they're the oasis class ship so they are actually twinsies with two different names with the exact same ship back to back all those people out here enjoying the bahamas today a lot of people but we are stoked to have our own little piece of paradise together here as a family awesome. are you guys ready to swim with the pigs so yeah. this is gonna be kind of fun Right oh, <laughs> Pigs are almost on Pig Island. Here we go. This is actually how you get there. It's too shallow to bring the boats up. So they put you on the banana boat shamu thing. They tow you in. How close? Viking yeah. boat. It can go on shallow end and a Viking boat. Shallow. It can go on like land. They can pick it up, or they can go in deep. How do you know that? How does she know? I this? learned about Viking. Wow, you are a genius. We're about to Pig Island, and there are a lot of pigs out here. It is. Everybody say oink oink. Thank you. One stick and pass it down. Thank you so much. Man. Look at him just like don't don't don't. Oh, there you go. Hazel, you just ate off of your stick. Why is this so fun? It's like weird, but it's so fun. Mindy, you're holding what? a pig right now. Oink, 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 oink. Are you serious, Mindy? You are holding a piggy right now. Oink, 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 oink. Oh, no. I another baby. Oh my gosh, only oh if it's a pig. God. Hey, we're having a baby hamster when we get back, right, Brexy? Oh yeah. <laughs> Whoa, that one went wee 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 all the way home. Oh, 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 my. oh. <laughs> this is crazy. Should we 
to take him home with us? Yeah. Come on, Piggy, let's go home. This is Piggy, and we we all the way to our home. We are done here on Pig Island. We've fed the pigs, we've swam with the pigs, we've held the pigs, and I just can't figure out why that is so fun, but it is. It is absolutely a riot. Now, I did want to do a fun little Instagram versus reality thing because you see these gorgeous pictures that Michelle's been taking for us. You see the backdrop of the ocean. You see, kind of looks like a secluded private area, but don't be fooled. There are literally dozens of people here all waiting in line to take that same amazing picture, but it does not diminish the fun in any way whatsoever. It was an incredible experience, but they, like we said, cannot pick you up from the shore. So we're waiting to get a little jet ski ride back on the Shamu banana boat back out to our boat but we still have two other stops to do today we're gonna be going snorkeling right now I think next you can see the Sun has come out the water has turned a ridiculous turquoise blue right now we're gonna go snorkeling in that right now and then we're gonna have lunch and go check out some sea turtles so so much more fun yet to be had but that was a Bingham first swimming feeding and holding beach piggies sea piggies I don't even know what they're called but it was awesome Even touch it. <laughs> <laughs> just got off the boat after having done, I think this is our third stop. No, technically this is the fourth one because we're now going to get to have lunch right here right now. We've gone the turtle swimming. We did our snorkeling. Started off with feeding the pigs and swimming with the pigs and holding the pigs. My favorite. But you guys, I gotta step up a couple more feet here so you can actually see what we are going to be eating on. It is a restaurant that is sitting right on this beach right here. We've been commenting over and over again about how this does not even look real. It looks incredibly fake, photoshopped. Oh, you must have cranked up the blue on that coloring. No, this is exactly what it looks like. And I'll be honest with you, the camera does not do it justice. It is infinitely bluer and more gorgeous in real life than what I'm able to capture here on video. Kids have been commenting the entire time we thought that Turks and Caicos was probably the bluest water that we've ever seen. This might be bluer and it's not just that it's so blue. It's just so calm and clear in the various shades of blue. It's so turquoise and we have been loving being out on this boat, being able to just go check out different islands in the Bahamas. Now what you don't know, I don't know if we talked about this, but we almost didn't get off the ship on this stop. We we're going to stay on and kind of experience the boat a little bit, just enjoy the amenities that the ship has. Thought we would skip Nassau because we've been here before. We felt like we'd kind of done what they had to do. So glad that they ended up canceling Haiti because that caused us to want to get off the ship today. Kids are calling this probably the best stop, the best adventure we may have ever had. Some of the bluest water we've ever seen in our lives. We are so stoked we've been able to take you guys along, capture it, share it with you. Wish you were all here with us. It is in Incredible. But right now we're about to go have our lunch. We're getting some conch fritters. We're gonna have some cheeseburgers and whatever else they got here. Eating right on this ocean front. I'm trying to get the drone up to show you just how remote this is. This is not a restaurant that is near anything. We are on a remote, thin strip of an island that is not connected to land in any way. So everything that is here has been brought in by boat. And it is the perfect way to finish up the shore excursion today before we head back to the ship.
Are you joking me? Mindy, your background right now is a joke. <laughs> back to the ship we're on our balcony and we are setting sail leaving Nassau Bahamas which I gotta give a mad shout out to Nassau Bahamas that was one of the greatest spots we've ever stopped and to think that we almost didn't get off on this port we we're gonna just kind of hang out on the boat use some of the amenities on the boat but when Haiti got canceled we decided hey make the most out of Nassau and I'm putting that like top three most fun places we've stopped but I think it was just the vibe it was the ambiance it was that gorgeous turquoise blue water I mean it was unbeatably blue the people here were incredible amazing the guys that took us out on that boat our captains were next level awesome just took care of absolutely everything we could imagine Imagine. Great lunch, great time, great fun. But now we are saying goodbye, setting sail, and heading off to the perfect day in Coco Cay. And because we have the Haiti stop that was canceled, we are going to have the perfect two days in Coco Cay because we're going to stay there for two days in a row. But not before tonight's formal night dining experience. We're getting dressed in our best dress and going down, having a fun dinner to finish off. Would you call this day one or day two? I guess it's like day two technically, but yesterday we just like got on board and set sail. Right now, I'm going to just set sail yet again. I love having these balconies that you can just watch as you say goodbye. <laughs> Formal night, you guys. Everyone in their best dress. Are you guys ready? Oh, I delicious. am so hungry. I can't even. <laughs> <laughs> wait. Which one is yours? Both of them. <laughs> You sunk my battleship. This is a pretty big moment right here. We just sent off Ryder and crew. You can hear some music playing. You might see like dozens, if not hundreds of teens there going up go. and down <laughs> the elevators. They are going to check out the, call it the social club. Because yeah, not a it's kids, not club, kids club, not a teens club. We want it to be cool, it's the social club. Social club. And I'll be honest, absolutely no one is in the club itself, but that is where they meet up and then go do things. So there's probably 50 kids playing basketball. Well, and in the hot tub, it's like standing room only. There was literally another so many kids there. 50 kids in a hot tub that has a maximum capacity of 12. These elevators that are going up and down are just full of teenagers. So if everywhere. we're wondering where teenagers are at night when we're in our rooms, they are out here having a blast. Having and we said, fun. you know what kids, go have fun. Go meet some people, Enjoy. go make some friends. Ryder and crew going off to do that. We're gonna head back to the room right now though. Tomorrow is a full day, a perfect day at Coco Cay. And we will be doing the Thrill Water Park. We are gonna be doing every single one of those water slides tomorrow all day long. You guys gotta come back for that. But fun. This one I'm putting up there with one of our top five vacation this days like ever. This like a perfect day. Hey, tomorrow's perfect day. I maybe. know, the pre-perfect day. And so we're hoping that you guys were able to feel that, experience that through these vlogs. We love taking you guys along with us. Tonight, formal night, number Woo! one of two. We got another one coming up. Switching up the outfit, We're mom. celebrating our anniversary then, We are. Too. We're very excited about that. And it's on Lobster Night, which you love. She does not love. But we love you guys. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye.